I tell you, this business is worse than being a conductor in a revoluting door. I'll be glad when this day is finished. What's a celebration? They're presenting my son with a trophy. Yeah, what'd he do, run away from home? Please don't look at me that way, Audrey. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, Seymour. I just don't understand you. I'll explain everything after the ceremony. Yo, police, what are you doing here? Heard there was something going on here this evening. Just thought we'd come by and keep an eye on things. Look, we don't need no eyes kept on nothing. Hey, 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 the Society of Silent Flower Observers has arrived and sunset is almost upon us. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. We are honored for to have you. Still working on those disappearances. We think they were murdered. Hey, look here, young man. That's no way to talk at a time like this. Let me see your tongue. Mm-hmm. Now, what you got? Just the facts, ma'am. Trench mouth. Uh -huh. I know, I had it back in 09. Better have that looked into, Frank. Whatever you say, Joe. Uh, Mr. Crowboy, uh, the sun is going down now, and uh, you do think those buds are going to open? I hope so. Because if they don't, Mr. Crowboy, we shall just have to present the award at another time. Oh, it's starting to open! It's a mark. Oh, look, the first bat is open. <sighs> Isn't that the railroad cop? Look at the rest. <laughs> what do you think, Frank? They're all there, Joe. Yes, you're right. Mr. Crowboy, how do you explain this? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. That's right, officer. He didn't mean to kill them. Am I? Seymour, you promised you'd explain. Looks like they're getting away, Joe. Yes, you're right. Let's catch them. Right. Oh, now the float will be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 